Hello YouTube, how is it going? TG Prototype, or Mr. Prototype as you know me here. Um, I am playing some always fun sabotage. Well, it's always fun unless you're playing against a team of noob tubers, which I coincidentally got into last night. 20 minutes of straight noob tubing until they finally got their AC-130 implanted on us. Can't lie, that was very depressing and I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2 for a while after that. But anyways, here we are. We're playing sabotage on vacant. My favorite map. I love this map so much. It's always fun to play on. If you have a good team, it's a lot of fun to play on. And it's no, it's, wow, I already messed up this commentary. Okay, it's a lot of fun with the RPD. I personally, it's one of my favorite guns right now. I stopped using the intervention, uh, the ACR, just to use this gun all the time. And that's because, I don't know, maybe it's something about having a hundred or so bullets in a clip that just makes me trigger happy to the point where I just get a lot of kills or it just it soothes my soul and I end up doing well all the time because if you think about it if you if you're playing ground war I like to play ground war often so if you're playing ground war and you've got this beast of a gun and you see five people coming towards you you don't have to worry about reloading at all you don't have to worry about having every single shot right on the person you just aim and fire like a like a madman and hope you don't get killed by the evident noob tube. So something about that just improves my gameplay and makes me do well, which I can't complain about. So as you can already see, like at the start of the match, I got that nice, should have been triple spray, but there were three people, I sprayed them all, right? So you couldn't have really done that with an ACR. So already, this is a good gun. And I'm just rushing into their spawn, so let me get to the gameplay right now. I'm, I'm playing with a friend who likes going for... Uh, nukes all the time which I don't have a problem with I mean nukes win the game I like to win but I generally like to win by playing the objectives and since we're playing sabotage that objective is to get the bomb on the plant site plant the bomb and win the game but that's not really how we play it I kinda play it where we just spawn camp them while my friend goes for his nuke and that's really not how I generally play the game but we're playing it for this time and we, we still win the game but that's what happens Anyways, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of patrolling the little area there because that's where the enemy's spawning. We keep coming out there trying to sit up shop right where I'm aiming down right now. And you can get some pretty easy kills there. A couple double sprays, which is always nice. Um, this map is kind of interesting for sabotage because if you have a good map, or if you have a good team on this map, then the other people are kind of screwed unless they're better. Because once you get that spawn trap on, there's really not much they can do. It's kind of hard to pull out of there because you've only got two exits. And those exits can be very well controlled. So they can't really get far. Once they, If, if someone's uh, patrolling that area like I am and they get and I get killed, the enemy can push, push out. But there's generally going to be two or three people where they're pushing out and they're going to get killed. And they're going to spawn back in that room and they're not going to make any ground. They might think they are, but they're not really. And that's... That's, I guess that's spawn trapping right there. That's pretty much the basis of it, if you didn't already know. And so I'm just patrolling. I'm looking at the bomb site, because I know they're spawning in there. Just going for a nice kill-death ratio this time. Got my Predator missile already. I'm just, I keep seeing those guys, so I keep looking down. Don't have to reload. That's the best part. No reloading. Oh, I guess I should say my perks. I'm using Steady Aim Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Slate of Hand Pro. So the hand pro is pretty obvious. I'm just using it because this gun's got about a 10 second reload without it and about a 5 second reload with it, which is nice to have. Right there, biggest fail predator missile ever. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I was like got distracted when I was doing that or my finger slipped and pushed it a bit too right. But what are you going to do? I'm a bit of a fail when it comes to this game anyways. Uh yeah, so here we are. We're pushing in. Uh we're playing with uh, two random people, so they're not really paying attention to what my friend's saying about don't plant, don't plant. So they end up planting the bomb. Uh, Justice, uh, yeah, they planted it in three, two, one. There it is. So as you can see, we got the bomb planted. I think my friend was freaking out, like, "No, why'd you plant it? I'm so close to my nuke." But we end up all backing off, and they get to defuse pretty quick here. Not after I get a couple kills, though. Or any kills, for that matter. 
Because, you know, it's 20 minutes, and some people like to push that to a 20-minute TDM. Which I'm not a fan of, because what, what if the tide turns? Nobody gets a nuke, or the person who gets a nuke is on the enemy team, and we lose the game. That's, that's a hit to my win-loss ratio, and that's the only thing I play this game for anymore. So that kind of sucks. We're about to get to defuse, so we got six seconds. It looks like we might win, but there it is. So they defuse the bomb. We still have air support. So we don't have to worry about that. It's doing work. They're just camping with a little corridor there. It's a pretty good spot to camp, actually, if you're getting spawn trapped. If you got two people in there, you can look. You can watch each other's back. Someone comes through the front side, that guy will get him. Someone comes through the back side, that guy will get him. You work like a tight-knit group there. And that guy was trying to pull some James Bond moves to try and flank us, but I took him down with my beautiful RPD. Uh, my secondary should be a 44 Magnum FMJ, just because, like I said, handguns switch to the fastest compared to the rest of secondaries. When using a big gun like this, if you need to change weapons, that's the best one to have. Although, I'm thinking about trying out the AA-12 instead of uh, reloading and just putting a scavenger on there. Uh, as you'll notice, my gameplay is kind of laggy, and that's not the game itself, it's the video. For some reason, my computer can't handle the dazzle anymore, which is weird since I blew away my, t my entire computer and it's still fucking up. Though it was worse before, I mind you. Before, like, the video would jump back and forth and go all laggy. I think I told you about that, guys. I told you guys about that. Sorry. Here I am again, trying to... See there, I got really trigger happy and I got killed from my six. But we don't have to worry, they only got the bomb halfway to the bomb site. We pick it back up. My friend's got his chopper gun, so he's almost there. He only needs 14 more kills, he'll have that beautiful nuke. We'll finally get to leave this. Uh, so what are your guys' opinions on playing Sabotage like a TDM? As I said, I'm not a fan of it. I prefer just to play the game type the way it was made to be played. Not try and coined it into a team deathmatch because it's kind of stupid in my opinion. And you guys like the RPD? What's your favorite weapon? Do you prefer assault rifles compared to light machine guns, etc.? What's your favorite submachine gun, perhaps? Mine is probably the UMP-45, and I don't like it that much anyways. I only have it on my anti-air class. I generally try and switch from that right away. As you can see here, I've got the bomb. I'm right at the bomb site. I really want to plant it. But my friend's like, no, I'm five kills away from my nuke, so please don't plant it. So whatever, I won't. I die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But like, there's a random in there, so he's going to pick up the bomb and probably plant it. If he's not already dead. I'm a little rusty at the commentary, guys. I haven't done it in a while. Hope you can forgive me for that, as well as the laggy video. It might actually not be that laggy on YouTube since I still have to render it. Maybe it's just my computer not being able to handle the preview box. That was a nice hip fire double. Pretty proud of myself right there. I am uh, playing on sensitivity of 2. Just a heads up if anyone's wondering. I don't know why it would be though. If anyone knows why they opened up that little gate there for demoli- or uh, what was the map? Uh, demolition, yeah. If anyone knows why op they opened up that gate on demolition, I'd love to hear the answer because it makes no sense why they op only opened it for one game type and all the rest is closed off. They didn't do that for uh, strike, which kind of confuses me. Shanked, just saying, just saying. I'm gonna call the cops, I'd like to report a shanking. So I've got the bomb here. It's, we got about nine minutes left of the game. So I'm just trying to make sure the bomb is always in their spawn point. That way we have the advantage. Just making sure I don't rush in there blindly and get killed. But it doesn't matter because I get shanked anyways. I was using Ninja Pro before I jumped over to Steady Aim. Because I didn't realize steady aim, actually, uh, when you're aimed in, it decreases the amount of jump your gun has. I thought that was just for hip fire. 
but apparently I was wrong and it actually changes your game by quite a bit especially with grip on the RPD it makes it so the gun really has no jump at all or very little anyways so you get your nice hip fire kills or distance shots when you're zoomed in there we go again plant the bomb actually that was my, one of my friends who planted that bomb I think my friend uh, Private Plow, the guy who was going for the nuke, finally gave up. So we're trying to win the game now. Doing pretty well. I've got this place pretty much locked down in the front here, so all they have to do is worry about one door. Calling my Predator missile. Yet no one. Now, right here, I sped it up because I thought there was a guy around that corner, but I was wrong. So I sped it up because that's kind of useless to watch. We got both. Five milliseconds up, and there you go. So that was sabotage on vacant, 46 and 42 and 13, I think. Not too bad. I'll see you guys later.